English learners. Hello, my name is Clara and this is my sister. I'm Elia. And we are also the member of the Lexicon Tutorials, uh, which we organize together with our friends from other countries. Uh, and we are here to help or teach you our mother tongue, which is Indonesian. And our program names? Mari Belajar Bahasa Indonesia, which means Let's Learn Indonesian. But we are sorry to say that we are not native English speakers, so maybe we will make mistakes with our English. <laughs> but hopefully that you all here can understand our explanation. And of course, we hope that you all will enjoy this learning. So, the first thing you need to know about this language is the name of the language itself. Most people make mistake by calling our language as Bahasa, which actually means language. If you are going to say Indonesian, or you mean Indonesian, you have to say that completely, which is Bahasa Indonesia. You can't leave the name of the country because then it will be not clear which language do you mean. And for language learners here, I have one question for you. Have you ever been to Indonesia before? Or maybe, do you know some places in Indonesia, some islands, like the famous Bali or Lombok? Actually, Bali is not the only island in Indonesia, of course. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Indonesia have more than 17,000 islands with many, many tribes. And the different tribes have different languages too. And it has been a problem because the people in these tribes and the people in this tribe could not speak because they didn't understand and that's why uh, this Bahasa Indonesia was made in order to unite the languages, the different languages of the different tribes and uh, that Bahasa Indonesia became the lingua franca so that uh, the people in different regions could make a conversation and that's why Bahasa Indonesia has a very very important role in our country. Um, maybe you are questioning about what will you get when you already mastered Indonesian. Well, uh, for now I can mention at least three reasons, but maybe uh, you can find more later. Uh, the first thing is uh, Indonesia, uh, by learning Indonesian, you can speak with Indonesians, of course. Uh, actually, there are not many Indonesians uh, outside this country, but if you are travelers and you would love to find uh, or see uh, the wonder of nature and the exotic cultures, Indonesia is a good choice for destination. Uh, and by learning and understanding Indonesian, uh, it will help you much when you travel to this place. Uh, because um, most people who live in small villages or in the remote places where usually the wonder of nature is located are not able to speak English. So Indonesian will help you to uh, communicate with them. And this is a hint. If you are able to speak Indonesian, mostly uh, you can get a cheaper price when you are doing a uh, like uh, buy something like souvenirs in those places uh, but if you speak English they will know that you are actually a tourist uh, a new people come here so they will like uh, make increase. the price higher mm -hmm. yeah, increase the price uh, and the second reason uh, no um, and the second uh, positive sides if you are learning Indonesian is that Indonesian is still uncommon in the world, so it's kind of non-mainstream. Not mainstream if you learn Indonesian. Uh, this is a unique language, a uh, different uh, language. Maybe can be a start for language learners like you. Uh, so 
like when for example you hear people learning english learning germans learning japanese chinese and so on it's common it's quite common but if you learn indonesian then uh, it sounds like oh you learn indonesian that's unique that's different and so yeah you can be maybe indonesian translator in your country yeah uh, and the third is uh, this language can be used when you're speaking to some people from for example malaysia brunei and east timor because the location of this country is near near with indonesia not really far so they have similarity in their language When you want to start learning language, maybe you will think, will I be able to learn that language? Or how hard that grammar is? Or maybe, how many different alphabets that the language has? But don't worry, because Indonesian is one of the easiest language in the world. Yes, that's right. You know why? Because we have only 26 alphabets. And the alphabet is pronounced just like in Latin. So. Uh, but we have like the E letters, uh, it can pronounce as A or O, but there will be no marks above the letters. So it's just kind of uh, use a feeling, your feeling. But uh, when you are getting used to Indonesian language, you will be able to differentiate uh, when you can pronounce it, pronounce it as E or A or O uh, and then we have also four diphthongs uh, which is you can read it uh, below here it's K SH NG and NY and what makes Indonesian language easy is that uh, another is that Indonesian some of Indonesian words came from Arabic Sanskrit, Dutch, or Portuguese, or Chinese. So, uh, some words are just the same with that language or similar. So, uh, you uh, don't be surprised if later when you are learning Indonesian, you will find some words that are similar in, uh, with words in your language. And yeah, that's it. Uh, and also, um, then what makes Indonesian easy is the grammar. If you have been learning uh, like uh, language like German, English, uh, and uh, Russian, and so on. Maybe you will think that Indonesian is a very easy language because we have no tenses, no cases, no articles, no inflection verbs, and no gender in nouns. It's interesting, <laughs> right? Maybe those all that we can give uh, as a very start for you. Uh, now we would like to give you some tips uh, to help you learning Indonesians. Uh, the first tips is uh, the best way to learn language is to speak. So uh, if you're lucky to have an Indonesian friends, you can try to speak with them in Indonesians. So you will uh, more uh, uh, you will learn it faster. Or maybe you can come to Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then the second, usually I uh, I always use uh, songs or videos or movies uh, that's spoken in the language I learned. So maybe if you want to learn Indonesian faster, you can use uh, songs or movies that uh, use Indonesian as a spoken language. Uh, you can find them all in YouTube or just download it. Uh, in some sites uh, in internet or you can ask us maybe we can help you to find uh, the songs that you want uh, and then also something that you have to know about uh, this uh, learning uh, sessions with us is we are going to teach you the Indonesians which used only in daily, the conversation. daily conversations because uh, the Indonesians that uh, people use in textbook is different and harder, harder to learn so uh, we are 
going to teach you the only the daily conversations fashion and so that's all that's <laughs> all so good luck with your learning and mm -hmm. see, see you next time in Mari Belajar Bahasa Indonesia, Indonesia.